This right here, the cast iron skillet. It's probably one of the most divisive items in your kitchen. I mean, some people love cooking on cast iron and they cook everything they can with it. Other folks hate it. And I mean, then kind of see where they're coming from. It's heavy, takes some maintenance, a little tender love and care, and food sticks to it sometimes if it's not seasoned properly, which is what we're talking about today. You ready, baby? Let's go. All right, all right, all right. You kind of have to say the third all right when you start with two all rights, don't you? Yeah, it just par for the course. All right, well, welcome back to the Texan Table, brought to us all by Go Texan, the state's best champion for authentic Texas-made items. And today, we have a brand new skillet made by Fredericksburg Cast Iron out of, well, you guessed it, Fredericksburg, Texas. But these are made 100% right here in the Texas Hill Country. So take a look at this skillet. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look like other cast irons, and that's by design. Fredericksburg Cast Iron has a signature process where they polish and shine the inside, which makes it look very different. You know, other cast irons kind of have this rough sandpaper look. However, this skillet still does need a little bit of seasoning, which is what we're talking about today. But we can't do it here, so uh, let's head to my kitchen, shall we? Howdy, and welcome to my kitchen. You're gonna wanna do this with any cast iron you buy, especially the unseasoned ones, but even the pre-seasoned ones could use a couple extra heat mats. Now, the idea is to apply fatty oils and allow them to penetrate and bond with the iron. It'll create a smooth, non-stick layer, but as you'll find out, it will actually start to season the food, which is why folks love cooking with cast iron. It's like adding a whole nother layer of flavor that you just don't get with other cookware. Now, we're gonna use a very slow process to make sure that the oil penetrates the iron as deep as possible. If you do this too hot and fast, your oil ain't gonna get deep enough, and you you may find that your cast iron will rust down the road. And that's okay, you can strip it back, you can re-season it, but it's best to do it the right way first. So, all right, step one, we're gonna turn the oven to 200 degrees, and then we're gonna clean our skillet thoroughly with soap and water. Now, the idea is that you wanna start with as clean a surface as possible. Then, we're gonna cook it on the stove just to burn off any remaining moisture. Now that the oven's ready, into the 200 degree oven. This is sort of like a primer bath to open the iron up to get it ready. Out of the oven, bump the temperature up to 300 degrees, and uh, let's get our oil ready. All right, so there are a lot of different oils that you can use to season a cast iron. Fredericksburg Cast Iron recommends using grapeseed oil, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so start off with a generous amount of oil. Make sure you get the sides, the handle, the bottom, and then we're gonna wipe it all off. Don't worry, it will not wipe all off. There's still plenty on there. What we're looking for is a thin layer of oil. And then back into the oven, upside down. This will prevent any of the oil from pooling in the skillet, but if you've wiped it off well enough, you shouldn't have to worry about it. We're gonna cook it in that oven for about 10 more minutes, pull it back out. We're gonna wipe away any excess oil. Then we're gonna bring on the heat. Crank the oven up to 500 degrees, and when it hits the temp, put the skillet in there and leave it alone. All right, this is where the good seasoning happens, and so it's gonna take a full hour. Look, you got an hour, go do something else. Don't think about your skillet. It's doing its work too, in the delicious sauna of fat. Mm. And when the hour is done, Pull it out of the oven, let it cool down slowly on your countertop. Be very careful, the skillet is super hot at this point. All right, ah, I let it cool a while, but it is still warm. And here it is, a seasoned cast iron skillet. As you can tell, it's a lot darker. And what's happened is the oil has started to bond with that cast iron, and it's only gonna get better every time you cook with it. Okay, so you can learn more about Fredericksburg Cast Iron. If you go to fbgcastiron.com, you can learn more about the Go Texan program at gotexan.org. All right. Happy cooking, y'all. Remember, good cast iron is the chef's best friend. I love you, best friend. Shake and bake.